Hey everybody, it's Vampire Chicken, a Grandmaster at the Game of Risk, back with something that I have been doing lately that I have been thoroughly enjoying. So we're going to do it again. This is the most popular map, but not the most popular settings. What we are doing today is fixed world domination with blizzards, no fog, but there are alliances. And this is the week of neutral bots for some reason. So neutral bots are in the mix. So... Uh, this is something that I've been doing, exploring, playing with. It's been working out really well. Maybe I just like it because I've won my last two weeks in a row. I don't know. But we're back at it for another week. And we will see how it goes. Now, check out this blizzard and this blizzard. It does create some very interesting honeypot situations. Purple has gone right here in the middle. Which, you know, I respect for them. Italy, is, it's, it's splittily, obviously. There's a blizzard. But it, if I want a, a, a bonus immediately, I mean, Italy is the way. I'm going to have to go right next to purple. I'm going to try to offer them an alliance. And we'll see how this works out for me. I'm going to try to take Italy, which is not super easy. And I know purple is in here. So we're going to give them one turn to get out of my way. But I'm going to set up to take this, because I know purple's going to want to go this way. They haven't accepted my alliance. And the danger of playing these settings, world dumb rather than caps here, is that if you get off to a bad start, if somebody's breaking your bonus, it's very likely that uh, you will lose the game. Therefore, you should probably ruin their game as well. But we'll see if we can get through this one. So purple... Cinesox takes bonus, doesn't accept alliances. We'll see. Alex Roman Lopez just took some random card and had a very slow turn. Now, from experience, I know everybody is going to fight for the honeypots. So this blizzard means, I guess there's technically, if you can clear out all of Italy, uh, you can dream of a one-point Gascony hold on Spain and West Africa. Also, there's some stuff going on down here because you can two-point hold uh, Orient and North Africa from, I guess, Greece and South Russia or Georgia or, you know, there's there's ways of, uh, of fighting for this stuff. So that's where I would expect everybody to go. White is Klatki21. They're doing stuff on the bottom. So I need to get Italy before white clears all of this stuff out. White might be my own enemy. Red, we don't see. Oh, I do have fog on. Wait, did I say no fog? Oops. Oops, there's fog. What are you going to do? I accidentally put fog on. I wanted to play without fog, but that's fine. I wasn't even paying any attention. Uh, I don't even have my coffee. I, got, I mean, look, I only got myself to blame. Pitu and Titu have the orange troops. And we will see. So there's actually, or we won't see, because there's fog. So I like playing these settings, but without fog. With fog, it will make it a little bit interesting. And there, therefore, alliances with the fog, you know, I guess I can understand why some people wouldn't want to do it. It looks like Orange is taking this. These blizzards create a one-point hold on Scandinavia. So Orange is off to a pretty good start. All right. Now we'll see if Purple messes with me. If they do want to mess with me, they probably got to blast me out of here. But they get eight. So Purple is able to hold uh, this bonus. Very solid for them. I've given them one turn to go out because I think the next thing you would do, usually when you take one of these plus fours, you go for the other one. So I think purple can get out of my way. Let me have Italy. And that would be the friendliest thing. But they don't they do not do any of that. And we don't see where they're going. So I think they're just chilling. They got one bonus and they're happy with it. And they are going back. Okay, so they are not going to be rolling this out. It would appear. Okay, fair enough. As you see fit. I should be getting four troops because I'm above 12 territory. Getting a bunch of territory is also a, a very nice thing. Going for a split bonus is not necessarily the nicest thing. But I will go two here, two here. And I'm going to attempt to take this bonus. So I gave purple the opportunity. They decided not to, uh, to accept my very kind offer. <laughs> getting out of my bonus. And I really think that they maybe have missed a little chance here because I think they could have gotten out and they could have taken this next bonus and tried to be greedy. Pink is on three. So let's see if we can figure out where they are. They're going to come down here or what? Are we going to see them in here? They thought about adding here, but they decided not to. I would like to sneak under purple. I would like, I mean, I got troops over here. I'd like to consider going for Orient, going for this bonus. But a lot of the early play is going to be based on a little bit of diplomacy. Because I might also want to go to war with white. Because white, once white clears all of this out, 
they're naturally going to want to come into Italy to clear all of this out so they can begin this one-point hold. So I'm kind of naturally at war with white? Probably. But it's hard to know exactly. It would be better to be friendly. Yeah. So that's why I'm leaving a big stack here that they don't see. And then we hope they overattack. But it uh, looks like white will be taking it slow. I might be able to take France if everybody leaves me alone. Might take this if purple doesn't want it. But France could just be an easy ring around the rosy. Somebody has to be going for the noob corner. So if I do take France, I got to worry somebody in the noob corner will want to fight me. Red is going for Russia. Okay. So they don't have it yet. They're going to they're maximally attacking for Russia. Okay. And red hopes to dominate the right side. Take Russia, maybe take Orient. Red could be uh, very formidable on that side of the board. Looks like Orange probably held this. So they held Scandinavia. Now they're going to work on this next bonus right here. Okay, seems fair enough. Purple now knows that I have this bonus because I, I took it away from them. I think they should be taking this, but they're not. If they're not taking this, then I am. Where are they going? They're coming up in here. Okay, so they must be doing something in here, I would assume. They're doing a lot of attacking. Are they even like the noob corner? Uh, yeah, some interesting stuff might be happening. Okay, they do go for that. Well played. Okay, I think that's, that is proper for them. Okay, I think that's very good for them. Now, I need to defend against white while also trying to get more bonus so that we can destroy white. I'm gonna sneakily come from this direction. Now white knows that I'm here, maybe. But I'm gonna remove white from here intentionally. And then I'm gonna move into this bonus. And let's see, are people in here? I'm not gonna take it just yet. Because there's a two. But maybe we can get this on the next turn. So let's for one turn just combine these troops. We'll see how that works out. Uh, pink just takes the bonus and breaks purple. Oh, this is fantastic. So pink can't have this because orange was up here, but pink has decided to go into purple. But pink is too weak to fight purple because pink doesn't have a bonus. Okay, that's awesome. We need to worry that pink is a breaker. And white gets seven. Wow. White, must, white has something. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So I don't know how friendly we're gonna get to be with white. Seven means, does white have this? Does, did white take the, the noob corner and now they're using the noob corner to get this stuff? It's very interesting. So white is gonna be, like we're just gonna be surrounded by white soon. Okay, so he sees my seven. I would prefer to be friendly with white. Let's see if we can make this work. If they are in the noob corner and they're down here, we will see how it goes. If they don't accept my alliance and you're in the noob corner, I guess we're at war. Yeah, that's, that's what has happened. Okay, so they do have the noob corner and now they're going for this. Okay. So that is very, very interesting, of course. Hmm. I think we should try to befriend them. But if they take this and then they take this, what choice do they have but to go into me, you know? Maybe white keeps some exterior somewhere, knowing that... So what I need to do is I need to get this and then, like, insist on that. I need more. I need these two. I need these plus fours. And then he can have a plus six and a plus five. Way more than me, right? But he needs, he needs an exterior. It's going to be a tricky situation. Okay. So orange is going to take all of this bonus now. Are they going to mess with me? No. So I think orange is being chill. This is the way. They could have come off this too and brought these troops in, I think. They didn't do it. Uh, they remove white there. Not exactly sure why. Okay. And they put their 10 somewhere passive to guard. So if you break orange, there's a giant stack that you don't know about. He's one point guarding his uh, Scandinavia up here, and that makes enough sense from his point of view. Purple. You got at least broken once. You got broken twice. So pink just destroyed purple's game for some random reason. And now I guess purple is going to get some revenge here. So pink might be eliminatable at some point. Purple is going to retake what they lost. 
This pink is just down here and a little bit in here. And pink is a breaker, so we do want to have them removed as early as possible from the game. Only good, friendly players, okay? Only friendly players allowed? <laughs> ah, they're going down to remove pink here. So if they do remove pink here, they're going for another bonus. If they do one more attack and they remove pink, I will assume that I can kill pink. So they've taken this now. So purple now has plus four, plus four, plus three. And pink should be like dead now. You have a trade in. Pink laughs. It is pretty funny. Okay, so I think pink is just giving away that they're dead. Uh, so let's let's eliminate them. I don't think we're gonna fight purple. We probably will go for this bonus. That's not the end of pink, okay. Let's not do it too fast. So pink is in here somewhere. That's fine. I'm just moving off of purple's border. So pink is in here somewhere, they turn in for five. They're gonna hate me. But hopefully they slam into purple one last time before they're gone. <laughs> Do they hate purple more than me, even though I just tried to mess with them? They might be too far away. But pink is in here somewhere, probably breaking all of purple's bonuses. Well, that's fantastic. We'll get to know White's real relationship with me. Now that I've, I've made my intention clear, that I'm trying to take these three bonuses, and they can have the rest. Maybe White will be chill. And, I mean, you get a plus six, so you should be, like, really happy. Hopefully they take the plus six and then they chill and let me have this and we're all we're all good here. But maybe white does something crazy, turns in and hits me. I have a nine that can come back into them if they decide to mess with me here. But white starts with plus ten. So I still have more troops than them. They're not adding to the two to sweep this out. Pink is angry at something. <laughs> Pink was angry this whole time. I don't know if pink thought they were going to get some bonus or whatever. Okay, white is defending all the borders, and they are turning in now. Okay, they do add to an exterior. Are they just going to hit me? Oh, are they going to remove my exterior and then hit me a bunch? I wonder what they're going to do here. Is white going to go bad to me or not? Yeah, purple is so sad and angry at pink, but it's also kind of funny that everybody's bad at risk. Okay. Let's send white a little bit of a, a, a assurance here. Red gets broken. Okay, awesome. So white is a bad neighbor to some, but he's friendly to me. So that's amazing. Although they do line up on me, but I guess they're just guarding their border. Okay. We'll show white that we're kind of cool. Red is, has maybe bought it out. Orange wants an alliance. Wow. Red is just mad at white. I think I know enough about orange that we don't need to mess with them. I think we could definitely mess with purple. If white is going to be chill, we can definitely mess with purple. We can take this bonus. Make sure we're super duper mega chill with white. But orange is going to get scandy for a while. And they're doing attacks we don't see. So they're in here. They're trying to kill pink for one card. Oh, they also were going to break red. They don't know that white broke, unless they're allies. But they also, their intention was to break. Wait, so everybody is a bad neighbor, but somehow have been friendly enough that white is letting me hold this. So I'll be good with white, and maybe we go all the way. So purple doesn't have any of these bonuses. And they've used their turn in. So messing with purple is a good way to get a whole bunch of uh, bonuses here. So if I mess with purple, like, their game is over. You know? They do eliminate pink for one card. Purple is super weak right now. If we break purple, they will not be able to recover. But purple will end on three cards. Hmm. It's very curious. Very curious. So I get quite a lot. I'm going to remove this and take more. Now, should I mess with purple or not? It's fun, right? It is fun to mess with people. So let's do it. Let's ruin purple's game. Let's take more bonus. More bonus. More bonus. 
Give me a little bit of bonus. Purple has quit the game. Yeah. <laughs> As you would expect. Okay, so now it doesn't really matter. Because purple has left. Well, that's awesome. Let's put those guys down here then. All right. And now the world can <laughs> distribute those bonuses as they see fit. Is white going to start a war with me? It's me, orange, and red. So orange and red are fighting. So if white and I are good, we go first and second, guaranteed. Also, white is fighting red. So this is actually super amazing for me. Four-player endgame. Oh, the other three people are fighting. Everybody else is fighting red. And with neutral bots, this is, I guess, kind of the cool thing. You could just get people to quit the game. <laughs> and now while these guys are fighting each other, I'm going to take all of purple stuff away. Because it's very possible that there's three cards that can be easily obtained. Because we see everything now. This is all orange. Red is also super weak. Yeah, so if red doesn't have a trade, they're very eliminatable. And I don't want orange... I don't want to be allies with orange. I don't want orange to see red. But maybe... Maybe they are allies. This is insane. You're just feeding red to me. So this could not be going much better. <laughs> I think red and purple are both very killable here. And then we're going to be mega strong. But red with a turn in probably comes back into Russia. Yeah. So that's going to be an issue for white. I guess for a little bit, we let red do whatever. We'll just let red do whatever for a little bit. And at some moments, you know, a proper betrayal of white gives us, like, some easy win in some endgame. But hopefully, you know, we can kill orange or something at some point. Oh, he doesn't go for the break. Oh, he's going to try to take this bonus. Okay, so he's going to break white. And then I guess he's going to clear this out and try to take this bonus. Or is he going to hit me? Okay, red's chill, whatever. Cool. So he just wanted to make sure to break white. But the problem is white has bonuses that I'm letting him hold. So red has no chance here. <laughs> Unless I betray white and I'm the only one that can, they have no chance. So as long as white is chill with me, red has no chance here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to be insanely greedy. Which in my mind is attacking purple quite a bit. Okay. Oh my god. Are you going for the purple kill, or are you just coming in to the right side? You just always have to go for Russia. You don't know that red broke. So they're breaking white, not knowing that red broke them, right? But now they know. Are they going to mega feed red, or are they just... They're just trying to get Russia. Okay, so we just leave white in here so they can get this. Are you going to hit this four? I guess not. Okay. So I'm going to start making a move on... Attacking purple. 21. That's amazing. Okay, we're just going to have some pretty strong borders here. And we're going to begin going for purple. But I'm only beginning to go for purple. Or should I be really greedy? I think we kill purple on the next turn. Let's just leave a giant 15 that nobody sees. I mean, white sees it because we're allied. But now white can go for a kill on red. Let's let red get a third card, because then I'll be strong enough to kill red and purple on the next turn. And I don't think these guys are thinking about going for purple, even though it's a very easy three cards. I'm a, I just wanted to have more cards. I'm able to kill red. I'm able to kill purple. And then I can use those troops to immediately do something. Uh, maybe that's betray white. Maybe that's attack orange. Who knows? If white bots out because they're thinking so long, I mean, the game is, is kind of over. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, white is really thinking. White's been chill with me. We've been just, we've been coasting. But white doesn't want to play because they're fighting for Russia and it's a losing battle. I'm not sure. It's neutral bots, which should mean nobody ever bots out. Because if you bot out with neutral bots, that's the place that you get. Purple's already been eliminated. Their placement has been decided. They get fifth place. And now white quits. But... He, okay, but now the neutral bots just take over. Oh, this is fascinating. So now it's me, orange, and red, and red is almost dead. So now we win this game easily. But orange goes before us. Orange can try to betray me. But orange has been using his troops fighting other people. And now I can just easily march up. I can easily break orange. I can take the elimination on purple, grabbing a bunch more territory. I can take the elimination on red. And slam everything into orange. White botting out doesn't make sense to me, but he doesn't want to play anymore. 
Orange needs to do something drastic now. Like, he better come break me if he realizes the situation. Yeah. Okay, maybe he's going for purple. Ah, uh, maybe he was trying to break me. Okay, so maybe he will come this way and, and break what he can. No. He was exploring. And he's staying very passive, which is probably a bad idea. Red's trying not to get any cards. Not on my board. So let's eliminate red. Might as well take a little bonus. Might as well take a little little bonus while we're down here. Okay, wait, where's red? Guess we also try to kill purple here. Wait, where's red? You hiding him in here? Okay, we found red. We're also going to take the elimination on purple. And then we're going to easily destroy orange, who probably has some sort of weird secret stack. Give me a four trade. Sure, whatever, man. Uh, we should try to get as much orange out of here as possible, I suppose. Four is not a lot, but we got we got more cards coming. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make sure that we get this elimination. And we got to decide if we're actually going to break orange or not. I guess we will, but we're going to open up some stack. I don't have some way of hitting him without... Opening up his stack. But I assume we're just simply strong enough. So I guess we will break him. Because we have like literally the whole world to work with here. I just know that he has some stack waiting for me. Or do we not open him up? Four point wall on the entire... You know what? Yeah, we can be friendly, buddy. Oh, I could have accepted his alliance to take a little peek. Now, white has not bought it. White didn't hit the flag button. White didn't go in the settings and hit the flag button. So for 10 minutes, white can still uh, come back and rejoin the game. This means white closed the app and left. So if orange is chill, I'll kill white first. Oh no, white came back. Oh, what a jerk. Oh, white came back. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's devious. Okay, so white came back. Okay. Do I accept Orange's alliance? Sure. I accept your alliance. You got a 41. Okay, good thing I didn't open it up. But now Orange can see the whole world. I've trapped him in here. I haven't actually done anything horrible to Orange, but I thought White was a bot when I did all of this. So now we have to attack both these guys at once, and maybe they will work together to break all of me. But maybe Orange will be chill. I'm not sure. He gets 11. I'm expecting to be broken here. Oh, man. Do I have, like, a good trade? I do have a pretty good trade here. Okay, so orange is going to break me. Okay, thumbs down. <laughs> Let's just thumbs him down. Oh, dear. Okay, so white is actually going to take over here quite a bit. How many bonuses does he break? The maximum? Okay. So I don't want to fight two players at once. Wow. Okay. So now orange is just going to get really strong, huh? Or sorry, white. So I'm not strong enough to fight white and or, or orange. Okay. So let's try being nice. Maybe nice is the way. So I'm going to try to be nice. This is as nice as I'm, I'm going to be, okay? I'm going to take all my stuff back. And I'm just going to have a stack right here. So let's do one of these. You cool with that? Are you cool with that, Orange? I'm gonna let him have his bonus and I'm gonna get out of the way. Obviously, I have an insanely unfair amount, but now white is also very big. So I want Orange to accept an unfair amount. I could have taken this bonus too. So I'm getting knocked out of Italy. I guess I could have come in here and broke white. I'm gonna try being nice. First, I'll try being nice. And then if we're just gonna let white win, you know, maybe Orange and I fight. The three-player endgames are, are very interesting on this map. And with the players that we have here, what I think... I think the winning play is to actually not be the absolute strongest. You know what I mean? Because I think if you're the absolute strongest, these guys are just going to hit you. Now, I expect Orange will just hit me a bunch because I'm nearby them. And they don't want to fight White. They just want to hit me a lot. And if Orange just wants to hit me a lot, then I guess we'll give the game to White. If orange wants to be chill, like if I'm orange, I guess, I don't know. I'm trying to like hot, negotiating for another bonus or something, whichever bonus you want. You want the middle, like whatever you want, I try to negotiate for it. But I think because I am near them, 
They're gonna break me. No, they're gonna be chill. Oh my god. We were able to be nice with them. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. And now he's just gonna randomly hit white. Because I was nice. Yo. Okay, he's inviting me to fight white. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Wow. That was a very big surprise to me. Uh, I will do this much. I'll do this much. Yeah, let's fight white. Forget that guy. Forget white. We hate him. <laughs> He's a jerk. Yeah, let's destroy this guy. So I guess orange is with me. Wait, that's amazing. Okay, we don't have enough for that, but that's actually fine. White is, is crying. Yeah, you better cry. <laughs> <laughs> you better cry. All right, we'll be nice to orange. We have a kill guard on white. Maybe that's maybe white will open up to 43 and then stuff will happen in here. So we should be able to destroy white. I wonder if orange is going to do that again cuz I'm so much bigger. But if we team on white, if orange is like, "Okay, I don't want to fight blue." Cuz if orange had fought me like way too much, I would have been able to kill him presumably and then make sure that he gets last place, but I might have gotten second place. Orange choosing to work with me, if they do it, you know, one more turn, means they're getting at least second place. Probably second place, because if you let me be this huge, I'm going to be this huge. So Orange might still fight me. Proper is probably to fight me like a little. Take like a bonus. You know, if I'm Orange, I actually probably just, I take like a bonus. But we'll see how much they do. They picked one turn to fight me, one turn to fight white, one turn to fight me. Maybe that's the strategy. If I'm orange, I take one bonus and be like, hey, that's that's what I can do. But we'll see. I think orange is gonna break as much as possible, and then we have to like fight we have to fight orange or something. You take one bonus, I'm cool with it. Let me just let him know. Alright, that's cool. You wanna break one bonus? You can have that one. If you want this one, take one. Just take one. Just one, man. Leave me all the big ones. <laughs> I want all the big ones. I'm very greedy. But yeah, it's fine. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Is that, are you gonna leave any behind for some reason? That's fine, that's that's fine. I'll, I'll keep messing with white. I'll clear white all out of here and I'll have one big stack that I'll be strong enough to eliminate white with. White will need to come this way and if they wanna mess with me, so be it. Orange is just very slow. It's easy to destroy white. So let's start by removing white from here. And now what I think is gonna happen is white, here's how I expect it to go. White is now, you know what? Let's put these guys here, actually. Maybe white won't hit this stack. I'm not sure. But basically, white is going to take all of me out, and then I'm going to come back over the top and eliminate white, and then easily defeat orange, because orange is staying passive in this position. So I guess he's going to go through and hit me. Oh, he does go the other way. He's going to go through orange to break me on this side, or no? Oh my god, he's, okay, he's just... It feels like there's two people vying for uh, for second place here, which, very good, very good. Let me be a monster. Let me be the monster. <laughs> Let me get one more turn of whatever I just got, dude. What did I get? Let me do that again. 40 troops? That felt good. So I'm strong enough to kill white. And if I do kill white, even if I don't have a turn in, I can kill white, get a turn in, and then... I, I can square off with orange right away. And if orange is this slow, it's actually very easy. But if orange bots out, do I try to be nice to white? I guess so. If orange bots out, but they do it the dirty way, <laughs> maybe we'll try to be nice to white. Because if orange just closes the app, they might just bot out here, right? So orange might just bot out because they don't want to play. I'll offer white an alliance in that case, and we'll try to give white... Second place, if Orange is going to quit. What the heck? Huh, interesting. They didn't quit. But okay. <laughs> I think we're good here. I think we're good. So I'm going to set enough here that this can be removed. I don't know. That's got to be enough. And I'm going to do it like this. I'll make sure that White gets eliminated, okay? I'm not a monster. Uh, so we're going to do one of those. And then we're going to eliminate White, I suppose. Okay, yeah, whatever. We're just all going in. White gets eliminated. I get a turn in. We remove all of orange from here. We set up some random wall around the orange that's kind of hilarious in nature. And we just don't let this guy through. No, we can actually break him right here. 
Okay, so the square to break them is here. There is a square. So let's make you kind of big. Oh, okay. Well, actually, you're going to break right here. And uh, we are doing it. We're going to create a giant wall around this guy. <laughs> uh, 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 got, uh, got him. And uh, then let's go ahead and post those bad boys up here and see if orange can somehow break through my entire wall there you go good game well played <laughs> orange got themselves second place it was interesting if they did fight me but then white would have taken over and we would have had to do some balancing but there even after white had broken me a bunch being really nice to him kind of uh solidified my win on this game now orange sadly is just gonna waste a lot of time so i expect uh both these players are probably beginners orange and white uh based on the way that they played but i do find these settings very interesting because the beginning it's kind of like be nice to everybody make sure you get a bonus you know me being nice with white was a huge help but then orange just kind of did this end game negotiated a little bit better uh, in order to try to get the second place. Because when somebody's snowballing, it's really hard to stop them. So I love these. Be nice to people. Let them fight. Take advantage. The middle part of the game is always about being as greedy as possible. And then the end game is mostly about stalling and wasting everybody's time. Yeah, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Very nice. Very nice. Here we go. Watch this level of accuracy. You've never seen it like this. Hit me with a zero. Watch this completely unnecessary level of... 1%? I don't think so. Not today. 0%. Insanely unnecessary accuracy. Just guaranteeing my 80 can come in and wipe this guy out. So there we go. Eliminating all of the competition. Really having a fun time playing these. That's three in a row for me on these settings. So I think this is something that I'll probably just keep doing because I'm having a lot of fun. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying these settings too. And we beat a bunch of novices and a beginner. Ah, orange was an intermediate. That's why they got second place. And if you want to be the guy that gets second place, subscribe. Also, maybe... What? I don't know. Just maybe you'll get first place if you subscribe. I don't know. Hit the button. You'll see what happens.